Sometimes when I see the great horned owls come in for a landing at their nest, it occurs to me that they look like they're competing for the gold medal in gymnastics at the Olympics. So I decided to comb through about 100 hours of videos of the great horned owls and put together a compilation of takeoffs and landings, which are really just kind of a tribute to the beauty of their flight. You'll see as we go through here that I'm playing them in real-time motion, just right there, and then in slow motion so that you can really see what's going on uh, with the patterns of their wings and the shape of their wing and the speed they come in and uh, their body posture as they're actually landing or taking off. <laughs> So when the one you just saw there, the male is down kind of in a in the nest, uh, digging around in it, and here comes the female in for a landing, and you may notice that she looks a lot bigger than the male, and that's because she is actually a lot bigger. The next one coming up here is the male landing. And in fact, most of these are the male landing. You can see he, he does look a little bit smaller. The reason that we've got more of the male is that he has somewhat of a tendency to come in straight into the camera at an angle that we can actually capture on video. And the female has somewhat of a tendency not to do that. Uh, so there's the male again. And here he comes in with the sun behind him and you know, a very nice shot kind of a calm day so he's not having to flap and he does a nice glide in. In this next one coming up, it's shot at night as you can see and the male kind of got startled by something and did sort of this running takeoff. You see him running out and uh, taking flight there. And again, the following one coming up here is also of the male. He's got a big old rat there in his right uh, foot uh, in his claws there. So he's brought that rat in for the female. He then sat there for about two hours and finally took off and left. Uh, the female never came. He hooted and hooted and hooted and uh, never could uh, uh, get her to come to the nest here for whatever reason. This is a different one uh, of him taking off after unsuccessfully planning a meetup here on the nest that just never materialized. <laughs> Here's another one where he shows up uh, and he's hooting for the female. In a couple of these where he has his mouth full, it's a little bit like a trumpet being played with a mute in it. In that it completely changes his voice quality from the usual kind of low-pitched hoot to this sort of tinny sound. Here comes a takeoff with him holding a rat in his foot there, and it's then going to be followed by another video of a, a landing with him holding uh, a rat in his foot. It kind of changes the dynamics of the landing to have that big rat there, so he's doing a one-footed landing. There he was successful in summoning the female in and made a fast handoff, and then he pretty much cleared off out of there. Here comes our final segment here. This is one of the nicest one, so I'll play it a couple of times in slow motion here. Uh, just a, a pretty classic, uh, we've all seen kind of that uh, image, you know, from Native American imagery and from, you know, maybe even ancient uh, civilizations here of the, the big, broad wingspan here. It's about four feet across. They stand about two feet tall and uh, just really quite a sight to see, uh, and the slow motion hopefully helps uh, to see it in all its beauty. <laughs> 